So everybody, so we're gonna graph this this fact in again. Makes two x squared in the top. It's either two and two. Yeah, it's two and two is the top one. The four. I think it's going to be minus two plus two. Oh, I suppose you get a factor down two, couldn't you? Yeah. I suppose you get a factor of two out. You guys are all right. I'm sorry. So then you factor the two out. There's a couple ways to do this. I suppose it would been easier to factor the two out initially, but I bet we all come up with the same final product here. All right. And again, at this point, we want to find domain, which identifies the two vertical asymptotes in that case. The zero, there two, and horizontal asymptotes, there's one. Or no, the y-intercept, and then the horizontal asymptotes. All right, so if I look here, I think this goes fairly quickly for us now. Domain is all reals, can't be negative four or three, that makes the bottom zero. The zeros make the top zero, and those are not the same binomials in the numerator, so not any different. So negative one and two are the two zeros. And if I go back to the original blue point at the top of the board, I can easily find the y intercept is positive third. And this is going to take a sign table, guys. Because this is a disaster. This has a ton of stuff happening. Your sign table, S I G N, sign table, is going to have four X values, two zero, two asymptotes, and it's going to have a whole lot going on. We're going to set that up, and then we'll try to graph it from there. So now I'm going to start sketching. I'm going to make my sign table first. Pause the video and make the sign table. All right, your sign table. Is going to have to be built with both asymptotes and both zeros. So it's going to include all four of these values uh, in order. It also has to include all four of these binomials. It doesn't have to be positive two because two is always positive. It doesn't affect the sign. All right, so I have built the sign table. All right, and I'll make it nice and big. And you'll notice on the left side here I have in order, the undefined, the zero, the zero, the other undefined, right here on this side. All right? And again, just starting with the smallest, going to the biggest. And across the top of my sign table, I have the four binomials, or the four factors of this rational function. All right? And then all I do is I consider values from here, from like negative 1,000. Negative this one, negative here, negative, negative, four negatives make up. Positive when they are multiplied because these are factors. These binomials are factors. And again, in between negative four and negative one, I consider like negative three. I get a negative, negative, positive, negative. And again, if you do the math there, you get a negative, and so on and so forth. And I'm pretty confident in my answer. A real top of my answer. It alternates signs. Okay. I'm going to use this sign table now and try to make my graph. So here we go. And I know I got F, I haven't got the Y intercept. So again, I'll just start making my graph. Y, X. Now, if you're doing this on your paper, it'll all be one color. So maybe I'll do it now. I'll do it all one color. I'm going to do my undefined first, negative 4. Oh, I never got the horizontal asymptote. What is that? Positive three. Those are my two asymptotes. Zero at negative one. Take old dot at negative one. Zero at two. And I know the y-intercept is one third, which is somewhere about right there. All right. The horizontal asymptote this time is when I look at the f of x function. I'm going to look at the original blue function. X gets very, very, very large. We don't care about the negative 4 or the negative 4. We don't even care about negative <coughs> x and positive x. Because when you square a very large number, subtracting the number from the square of itself, and it's significant. You get 2x squared over x squared, which is 
positive 2. And again, some location for us people headed towards calculus. As you get very big, it goes to positive 2. Well, at 2, there's 1, 2, I have a dotted. All right, I'm going to use red to put in some signs. I know it's positive out here. All right, I know when I get on the other side of negative 4, it is negative. I know on the other side of negative 1, it is positive. I know on the other side of 2, right in this little spot right here, it's negative next to the asphalt. And finally, it's positive. And again, this is the graph that gets a little weird. We're talking about this is no longer a reciprocal function. Shape. All right. Out here, because it's positive on both sides, it approaches the horizontal asphalt and the vertical, so it has to be this way. And likewise, you guys see how it's positive over here? It has to be like that. It has to approach those asphalt. Just take practice. It's nothing you see right away. In the middle, it goes negative. Zero comes up. I don't know what it looks like. Don't care. It goes down. In the middle? No. No. Because remember, in the, around zero, where the horizontal action will happen when it gets very, very, very big. It's not big around the origin. Truth is, is, I don't know in the middle, guys. I don't know if it looks like the black line I just did. I don't know if it goes up like this. I don't know what it looks like. I'm sketching the graph. The blue or the black, I am unsure of unless I take my graphing calculator, it will start using them eventually. Now again, you want to talk something different about Judah versus other schools. Other schools will start graphing in your calculator much sooner than we do. In fact, some schools will calculate it first. The problem is that's like, you know, telling a kid to run before they can walk. Alright? So, alright, we're going to save the clue. <coughs>